Hey, hey, out in the garage today, I got this must start 240 volt 40 amp amp charger a little while back and I would absolutely recommend it to anybody looking for a NEMA 1450 high voltage, high amperage charger. But let me go into a more detailed review right now. So the charger is a 40 amp NEMA 1450 240 volt charger which means it plugs into the NEMA 1450 outlet that I installed in my garage recently and just plugs right in using the plug that it has. Uh, I opted for this one just because that was the outlet I opted for and I didn't want to buy any conversion for it. But it's real nice. It's got this readout that shows you how fast it's charging right now. It's not charging but I'll go plug it in and show you what that looks like. The plug is your standard J1772 or 1772, I'm not sure the right pronunciation for that. And it plugs right into my Chevy Volt here. It also comes with this little rubber cover that uh, can be used to cover it up in, I guess, bad weather or while it's being transported to protect the ends it just plugs right in and my car starts the negotiation process and it's charging and if we come back over here you can see that now it is charging at 240 volts it shows you the amperage that it's charging at it shows you how many kilowatts basically that means that it's pulling and then it gives you a nice display showing you the total amount of kilowatt hours that it has used to charge and how long that has taken. So you can see it charges pretty quick. My Volt can only accept uh, three or so kilowatt, uh, kilowatts uh, at a, as a, its rate, so about 13 amps, somewhere around there. So I'm nowhere near using the maximum amount of this charger, so this is a little future-proofing for me. A NEMA 1450 circuit, as it might be clear from the name, can support up to 50 amps. And so really you're not supposed to plug anything more than 40 amps or so into it, uh, just to give you a little bit of buffer there. But yeah, it's got a temperature sensor and yeah, it really shows you exactly what your, what your voltages and amperages are. Mine also came with this nice travel bag so that you can coil it up and put it in there, including a, another little canvas bag, branded, that has a warm tip on the back. I, I don't know if they mean hot tip or I'm not really sure. This burlap bag with drawstring is provided to cover the plug from damaging the LCD screen or cracking the plastic on the part that plugs into the car if it were knocked around while in the carrying bag. So it actually came shipped with this over the plug and I saved the little cover that goes over the plug itself because I thought that was just really nice. Please remove protective cover before use. Yeah, I think you pretty much have to. I'm not really sure how you plug it in with that on there, but I'm sure someone might try. So, it comes with that little bag as well. It also comes with a mounting bracket that you can use for, I guess, your main location so that you can plug the 1772 connector into there, real nice. And it came with a cord hanging pair of hooks that, uh, and some other hardware, some screws and some things to, to screw all those in uh, down in the travel bag. So. So overall, I would really recommend this. It has high amperage capabilities. It plugs into a NEMA 1450. There are a few different versions of it, so I think you don't have to get that. Uh, and it comes with uh, portable cases, and it wasn't really that expensive to the surprise of no one. I got off Amazon. I've got a link below, of course, so go on down and check it out, and have a good one.